I'm going to do similar thing on this other product. So if you want to practice a little bit more, and uh, this is the chance. I believe it will be a little bit easier this time. We have less things to do. And also I learned some things on the mistakes I was doing here. So some of the things here, uh, maybe I could do a little bit better. So I'm going to use pen tool to make the selection, but what I'm going to do, I'm not going to uh, start from the edge, but maybe a little bit higher and you will see why I'm doing it this way. So uh, till around this point, maybe it doesn't have to be uh, perfect because uh, remember that uh, we can always actually do some corrections. So I'm checking now, but from what I see, it wasn't really straight. So I want to make sure that the lines I'm doing are actually straight here. So going up here, maybe a little bit further here. So this is the selection. And now I'm going to hit right, make selection, and maybe the feather radius, instead of it being one, I will have five. So let's see with this, I'm going to create new layer, and maybe number one, I will know why. And I'm just painting, so I can go over the edge uh, not really important. You can easily correct this later. And also, I'm going to just do this one color. But make sure uh, we did enough on the edge. So now I can turn it off and this is how it looks like. And not too bad, I think quite natural and most important straight line over here. So now I'm going to do another one here. Again, pen tool. And I will go a little bit further. So to this point, I can go not over the edge. I did some mistake, but to the edge and up here. Now make selection and I'm going to use uh, the same feather radius. It seems to be working quite well. And again, so I'm not very concerned about the edges because we know that it's easy to correct this. I just want to see if there is any other color. Um, so maybe I'm gonna take the sample is a little bit darker, so that's okay. So that would be it. Um, this is the first part I wanted to do. Now I'm going to remove selection and I'm going to create the mask. So this way, first of all, I didn't have to paint over later to make the smooth transitions. I figure out how to start with them, how to do it. So I will have at the starting point already the smooth transitions between different colors. Here, of course, being careful on the edge. And here also I need to um, remove a little bit more because uh, we don't really want to have the smooth transition on this side. So here uh, we need to clean this up. And on the top, around here, make sure we cover it nicely close to the edge. And looking from the distance, as you can see, uh, great work. And it would be a little bit easier if it would work uh, the same way on uh, the previous example. So now let's try to create the natural looking uh, reflection. I'm going to create another number that will be two, uh, then it will be three and so on, so on. I'm going to choose the color white. We can make selection actually to uh, paint it here, but I don't think it's uh, 
really worth the time. These parts are uh, quite easy, I believe. Another one here. Let's try with two colors. And uh, maybe we'll be able to do them all at once here. One here, one here, and one here. Turn it on. Filter, blur. Or I wonder, maybe I can do even more here. So let's try to do them all at once. So let's make some more shadow here. Turn on. Filter, blur motion blur the direction here is a little bit different so need to make sure what is right here 46 maybe more it's too much let's try again motion blur minus 48 I think this is uh, the point when it looks uh, right. Then I'm going to filter, blur, and I will add a little bit of Gaussian blur as well. And now I'm going to create the mask. And with the black color, brush, I'm going to make sure the reflections look perfect this is not bad and the one here it's just too strong I, I i over i feel i overdone but i i can actually correct this quite easily this one over here was too too soft uh, we can add some more blue reflection over here so I think it wasn't enough. So I'm going to do another layer to multiply the strength of the blue one. I want to get some nice color. So let's try with something stronger. maybe here and filter blur motion blur and also Gaussian blur but less this time and the same thing creating the mask and I think now I got what I was really um, looking for, but still this brown here, it's too much, too much, it's, it's just looking a little bit like dirt. So I want to have this really um, settled. Now I think um, it's okay. So we have three uh, different layers. It seems we, we got this uh, around uh, just about okay around the edges. I'm going to hit right, merge them. Product reflection number two. I will do a mask because there is some more things to, to clean here. Still going too far out. So I'm, I'm sure you saw it. And I'm sure you thought I'm going to leave it like this, but no. I'm actually going to check this even more after this video. So don't rely on me and always check your work. See, a little dirty here. Can I do it on this layer? Hopefully. 
little bit. So I'm quite satisfied now. So let's just go to filter. But before we do it, I'm going to convert to the smart object. Although I'm quite uh, sure how much of the noise I want to apply. So um, let's go to camera filter. around eight and size not too big let's make it a size 20 and how it is quite okay here it's uh missing some of the noise and the uh, reason for this is that seems i didn't apply enough of the color here so let's make sure that everything is covered in the in the color here. So when we apply the noise, we apply it well. Doesn't have to be that perfect, but should be enough. So once again, I'm uh, going to convert to smart object, go to filter, camera or filter, eight, 20, okay. And this time I'm finally quite satisfied with what I have here. If I want to adjust the noise a little bit more because it appears it's a little bit harder here, then I can easily do it. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty well matching the surroundings, maybe a little bit more clean up here, but these two products look absolutely uncomparable with uh, what we had and what we have now. It looks absolutely amazing.